evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. We're going to begin tonight in Columbus. That's right. We're told an overflowing Platte River there has basically turned it into an island. We have team coverage from Columbus, and we begin with Channel 8's meteorologist uh, Alden German. He has a special guest with him. Alden? Good evening. I'm here with Columbus Mayor Jim Bulkley. He's here to give us kind of the uh, lowdown on what's been happening here in Columbus. Mayor, thank you very much for uh, speaking with us. So just kind of run through what the current situation is here in Columbus and the surrounding communities. Well, obviously, it's been a long day. Uh, very dynamic things going on. A lot of potential issues we were trying to make sure we were ready for. And fortunately, many of those potential issues did not evolve. Uh, river le levels came up. Uh, we did have early this morning, we had the Loop River leave its banks west of a, a residence out in the country called Oconee. And we did ask that residence area to, to evacuate. They did. Uh, otherwise, it's just been lots of road closures, some backed up uh, areas because the Loop River is so full right now, it's just hard to take more water. Uh, we've just had a great, a great team working together between emergency management in Platte County, Platte County personnel, and Loop Power has been a great asset with us also on what to do and try to control the flow as best we can. Uh, right now, probably our biggest concern is, you know, to make sure we keep receding, and it appears we are receding. Uh, we've, we've, we've got more concerns uh, as we go through the evening, but I, I think we're in pretty good shape right now. What about other evacuations for citizens that are within Columbus? Are there very many, or what's, what's no. the situation with that? We were very fortunate. Uh, actually, there were no evacuations in the city of Columbus proper. Surrounding us, you know, within a mile or so of, of town, yes, there were some county areas that did evacuate. Roads got closed. Uh, we did have, we were able to get most out there. It's, it's an active situation right now being uh, there are still some people to get rescued out of their homes that are stranded. And that's what and that's what Nebraska Task Force One is up here to assist you guys with currently, yes, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we originally originally had had reached out to the National Guard and we were, and we thought we were going to get a Black Hawk uh, rescue team up here. The wind, the uh, the weather just uh, did not allow that to happen. So FEMA and uh, you know Nebraska One, I think it's Lincoln Fire, came up. They had their boats out uh, again. Like I said, it's a dynamic situation. I'm not sure just where they are, but they they're they're here with us now. All right. Thanks uh, very much, Mayor. We still, uh, of course, have a lot of questions that are asking. There's still a very, like he was saying, a dynamic situation that's still unfolding here. So we're going to continue to gather more information. And for right now, we'll send it back to you guys in Lincoln with more. All right. Uh, Alden Germ with the uh, Mayor of Columbus. Thank you for that live report. We should quickly mention we're going to have another live report.